Hello, I'm Craig Stevens, and welcome to the show. Now, what do you know about the Sultanate of Amman in the Middle East? Did you know that the New York Times has just named Amman as one of its top destinations for 2015? I'm joined today by television presenter and rather keen traveler, Kate Humble. What is it about Amman, and, and why has it been named one of these destinations that we should go visit? I know, because how many people do you know who've been on holiday there? Uh, no one. Now you, now you. Me, one. you know me, yeah. yes. Um, well, the re I'll tell you the reason I went there. Um, and it was actually, I was inspired because I went there to film, first of all. So I went there for a job. I went to film this stuff. This is frankincense. It's very, very intrinsic to Omani culture. It's an incense and it's harvested from trees, but it is still grown in a region called Salala in the south of Oman. So we went there and I have to say that I imagined Oman would be a little bit kind of featureless, a little bit kind of, you know, sandy and not. Isn't that lovely? It smells That's gorgeous, gorgeous, doesn't it? it? Um, so I, I wasn't that excited if I can confess about going there. I just thought, yeah, it'll be kind of a bit deserty and there might be a few camels and there'll be these trees <laughs> and that'll be that. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I was absolutely blown away. You've got these fantastic mountain ranges, an incredible coastline. I know you're a diver, aren't you? I absolutely love diving. So do I. Yeah. 3,000 kilometres of coast, Craig. 3,000 wow. kilometres of coast. So as a sort of country of natural beauty, it is, I think, you know, almost unsurpassable. It really is. It's got so much. But the other thing that I really loved about it was the culture. You know, this is a very old country. There's a lovely ritual that feels as ancient as the country itself, kind of Omani way of welcoming a guest to their house. And, and it's this beautiful coffee. The beautiful, beautiful coffee. They'll waft incense smoke over you, which is just this lovely, you have this lovely fragrance smoke. Sprinkle rose water onto your hands. And I think there's something very lovely about going to a country like that, where you are made to feel very welcome every everywhere, a really fascinating ancient culture that happens to be against this beautiful backdrop of, of, of real, natural, you know, stunning landscapes. Okay, let me ask you two or three top tips of the things you must do in Amman. Okay, I would definitely get on or under the water. I'm an underwater baby. I love diving, but not everyone has got their diving qualifications. You don't need to have a diving qualification to still really appreciate the fantastic marine life uh, around the coast of Oman. So I would get a mask and a set of fins and go out and do a bit of a snorkel, or Oman's become a really keen sailing nation. You can go out and learn to sail there. So get out on the water because one of the things that you will almost certainly see if you're lucky, a dolphin. So that's one thing I would definitely do. For history buffs, there are wonderful fort, old forts and castles up in the hills, um, beautifully restored, a lot of them. You can really, when you walk around them, you get a real sense of how these buildings worked. You know, sometimes when you go to sort of old, old ruins, it's very, very difficult to imagine how people lived in them or how they worked as buildings. But what they've done in Oman is very sensitive restoration so that you get a real sense of how they worked. And they're often in very, very beautiful locations tucked up in the mountains, amazingly well disguised because they're built of the same rock that comes from the mountains. So I would go walking, indulge in a little bit of history and then go for a jolly good swim. I'd love to thank my guest, the lovely Kate Humble. Thank you so much okay. for that. Incredible. You can get loads more information at the amantourism.gov.om. That's amantourism.gov.om. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.